This is our first micro lecture in one-dimensional calculus. Today we take a closer look at the Archimedean property. So let's dive into it. Let x and y be real numbers greater than zero. Then there exists a natural number n such that n times x is greater than y. So in other words, if you have two positive numbers, x and y, it's always possible to find a positive integer that can scale x larger than y. Now, assume we have two line segments, x and y. According to the Archimedean property, if we take x often enough, we get a segment greater than y. So, 2 times x, 3 times x, and there it is. Now we examine another important property. That is, for every real number epsilon greater than 0, there exists a natural number n, such that 1 over n is smaller than epsilon. Keep in mind that in calculus, usually, Epsilon is used for very small numbers. To prove this, we recall the Archimedean property. Here it is again. So let's start with the proof. Let Epsilon be greater than zero. For X and Y in the Archimedean property, we know, uh, we now insert Epsilon and 1. Then there's a, an n such that n times epsilon is greater than 1. This n has to be greater than 0. Otherwise, n times epsilon can't be greater than 1. Therefore, we can divide both sides of our inequation by n to get 1 over n is smaller than epsilon, which we wanted to prove. This means there's no matter this means that no matter how small our epsilon may be, we can find an n such that 1 over n gets smaller than epsilon. So this was it for today. Thanks for watching.